A gloom has settled over the American elite on trade and foreign policy. This is good news. Here's why .The dark clouds started forming during the presidency of Barack Obama. Even though, in a number of ways, Obama was anti-American, forever apologizing for this country and its achievements, his foreign policy was not exactly a globalist's delight. Obama's appointment of the ineffectual Hillary Clinton as Secretary of State was a raw political move. When she left, Obama offered John F. Kerry as a sop to the foreign policy blob. Even though Obama was behind international initiatives like the Iran nuclear weapons deal, the Paris Climate Accord, and the overthrow of Gaddafi, overall, he oversaw a retreat, albeit slowly, from the post-World War II consensus. The 2016 election was a shock to the Foreign Service community. Hillary was their ideal candidate. In her, the boys from Foggy Bottom knew they could lead the world's smartest woman around by the nose with flattery and faux bowing and scraping. Donald Trump, however, was their worst nightmare. This barbarian was uncontrollable and threatened to upend the world as they know it. And worse still, on a personal note, since winning the presidency, Trump has frozen out a great many of his pre-election critics from the plum government positions they crave. The inbred blob is infected with groutthink. It acts as if America's destiny were to lead the world forever, no matter the cost. If the American people refuse to shoulder their assigned responsibility to self-sacrifice for the world community, we are lectured that global chaos of biblical proportions will ensue. Part of the reason for the mentality of the foreign service crowd is that since the end of World War II, the U. S has basically protected and bankrolled much of the world. This is the only environment these people know and are comfortable with. For all of their supposed education and credentials, thinking out of the box is not their forte, even when that box is knee-deep with their failures. Yes, naked self-interest motivates many in the blob. To think otherwise is to deny human nature to its members. So why the gloom in the foreign policy community? It's because those people know that President Trump has changed the dynamics. Under him, America's interests will now be put ahead of the interests of foreign countries. There will be no going back when he leaves office. I offer the thoughts of Elliot Cohen in this regard. If you can get past his overbearing presumptuous attitude and his wrong-headed analysis, savor his pessimism.